do to others as you want others to do to you. A famous epigram of English because we all want the same kind of an attitude from others as we behave with them, right? With an open arm we welcome them, they also do the same. You must be wondering why I am using this epigram for today because the words that I used yesterday for this word, it is quite often that if you are being very raucous in your speech, you are very loud, you are very aggressive by nature, nobody would like you. So, the aggressive are not liked, aggressive are those people who are not soft and dulcet. So, the soft are liked, dulcet are liked, but the aggressive are not liked. Right? These are the words we did for yesterday, tranquility, tardiness, surreptitious, surreal, a very important word, something strange or bizarre, it is where queer fish we use the idiom for this, stringent and strict. Moving on to our next word for today, that is straddle. Have a look at the words, take a cool breath, understand each and every word thoroughly and carefully. What is the word straddle? Straddle is something that is unable to decide which of the two opinions is better. You have two opinions, you are not able to decide which out of them is better and so to partly support both opinions, you support both opinions. So in that case it is called straddle, you are a uh, in fact, in fact, in an indecisive state. Right? To struggle something, you are unable to decide about something. That is why you are in indecisive state. You are hanging in between like you are in our tender hooks. Right? Startling is very surprising, astonishing. Please note the word for this specially. Astonishing. You are taken aback. Please note the phrasal verb. You are startled. Dazed. Stunned. shocked all synonyms taken for which word start I don't give you one word I give you a list of words or flow of words so the river keeps flowing same way so that is startling students next word is stagflation stagflation means what stagflation means a persistent high inflation combined with high employment and stagnation demand in a country's economy in the country's economy this is something which is in high inflation this is called stagflation inflation is common now you add to your vocabulary skills stagflation speculation is thinking about something in detail grasping the matter in detail forming a theory or conjecture without firm evidence you just on the basis of your uh, idea the hypothesis you form an idea about something supposition just like a guesswork of course you feel it's an educated guesswork you feel it is right it may not be true you don't have an evidence and proof for it it's just based on your speculation and idea about something spearhead is an individual or group chosen to lead something forefront we have used this very common and it's a very important word in English, as often used by me, this is called avant garde or the word we use is pioneers or front rank position. That is the word spearhead, an individual or group chosen to lead. You are the leader, the others are your followers. You know, leaders always have that important position. For front, front rank position, right? The next word is spatial. Spatial is relating or occupying space. It's very spacious. What this word spacious? See, this is spacious having a lot of space. And this is spacious in English, which means which has defective flaw, right, having some kind of a defect. Do not merge up the two words, we are talking of species, lot of space. So, spatial is relating occupying space, 
next word is sovereignty sovereignty is like you have heard in the preamble india is a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic it is a sovereign supreme power or authority it is jurisdiction it is supremacy it is dominant it is power it is ascendancy see this is ascending order this is descending order rising high right falling low rising this is falling right supreme power authority for something noted the words any word a problem please ask oh i want to link this word in a very interesting manner for you and i assure you we'll remember it forever what is seed it's put in the earth so that it grows into plant what is seed ma'am we all know what is seed right so seed so the word cd put in the earth that is soil right so that it grows into plant anybody can remember this this means something which is spoiled something which is spotted something which is squalid something which is sordid full of squalor so you can see uh, an even shoddy and sleazy you can see the long list of s here all of them meaning something not clean sordid and dirty not clean not pure full of mud you know and just the opposite we use for this is immaculate so when i say sordid is very dirty is to immaculate your character should be immaculate your dress may be not A very bold statement so sordid is very dirty immaculate is very clean so sordid is immoral something which is dishonorable arousing moral distaste contempt sleazy cd unsavory shoddy something wrong the opposite would be high mindedness or respectable next word is sophistry sophistry is the use of clever but false arguments especially with the intention of uh, deceiving someone sophism uh, casuistry quibbling equivocation and it is something which is having ambiguity you know equivocal ambiguity and the opposite would be very honest and truthful in its thing next word is snowballed snowball is uh, accelerating a speed i want to discuss this why why various often times you know you have to snowball now your preparation accelerator the baat hai what would happen the speed would increase so it will increase the rapidity of something intensity of something it will accumulate the things it will appreciate to balloon up it will make the things rise up this is high and that would be low so that is the word snowball please note it it is increase sense so this is just when we say accentuated from the ac root also it means sharp or high that also forms the context in this that is snowball so when you have an accelerator for something you galvanize something you know when we say for example the novice galvanized the room by his speech that means they were so much you know aggravated by it it increased the intensity of something it is simply meaning intensify increase in number increase in any form is snowball uh i'm reminded of one of the famous allegories it what is allegory in english is i'm not diverting from it i'm just explaining you snowball allegory is the names of the characters are changed and they are given fictitious names imaginary names that is called allegory right we have a famous allegory which is animal farm i have prescribed you even in the reading skill this is by george orwell in this we have a character 
snowball and napoleon right the snowball is a very crooked and cunning pig this is a story of pigs applied to human beings and that's what they agree it's about the russian revolution and uh, about the 1917 when we have it about napoleon and uh, snowball it's actually referring to uh, the bolshevik revolution and there were various other things related with it not going into the political matter getting into it allegory so i was talking of snowball and i linked it here that's something which you would appreciate how things he could increase and multiply the things and causes total change in the animal farm from manor farm to animal farm i am not breaking the suspense students because i'm keeping the suspense for you please read it slumping is undergoing a sullen severe prolonged fall you know from the heights you fall down this is a kind of a slump it's this is height you go to and this is the downfall this is slump that is coming a kind of a recession you can see in the market a lot of recession it's a prolonged fall in the price in the value of something please note the word plummet or plunge for it tumble humpty dumpty sat on a wall remember tumble down this is tumble falling down drop down it's going totally low and this is going totally high see this word soar your carrier should be soaring flying high used specially for birds for your carrier carrier of a lawyer is always soaring birds are soaring in the sky what is it flying high going on heights right setback setback is any kind of a problem difficulty reversal or check in progress it's a problem or difficulty or a hitch or a complication you're upset about something that is a setback it's a hindrance it's a problem it's a complication it's any kind of thing which has to be checked in progress that is a setback the opposite would be a breakthrough step forward see step back step forward so when you step forward you are moving towards it when you step back you're moving back to it yes right and the last word seroprevalence seroprevalence is a level of pathogen in a population as measured in blood serum more of a scientific word and i can just give you is pathogen with a root path which means disease when i say she is a pathologist means a doctor who cures diseases right the opposites have to be kept in mind sordid was taken as ugly so opposite is high minded or respectable sophistry was negative so the opposite is honesty and truth snowball is increase so that was decrease slumping is uh, going low so it is soaring high setback is a problem uh, moving back so it is moving forward right students so you have to just move ahead move forward and you don't have to leave any stone unturned to clear clat no stone unturned right site so please do like and subscribe the channel thank you for today